in this particular myth, in the Giants' Revolt, and also you can read in Robert Gray's book, Robert Gray's got Greek myths, Hebrew myths, which show a lot of his mythology being Hebrew was before it became a religion. He also has King Jesus showing that kind of stuff. They took some of this particular stuff and made it into religions. But in his Giants' Revolt in Greek myths on page um, 261, he goes into Titan, Typhon, which is the type of Typhons, Titan in the beginning, the great mother, Titans that's defeated, and then Titan comes back, um, Titan, um, Typhon again comes back as the youngest son of Gaia. So we're talking about a futuristic son in the, in the, in the, in the future, but it's also talking about this futuristic son. Um, um, Tite Typhon is talking about the great mother, you're talking about a form of melanin, that cosmic pre-primal world. You're getting this stuff? So she, he comes back midway point and, and frightens these particular motherfuckers in heaven so bad until they run and run, run to Egypt and hide out and become animals. Hide. But anyway, they, they subdue him with a lightning bolt and he's trapped under Mount Edna, the deepest part of the earth, and the earthquakes is supposed to be this particular energy. All this is also just also mythology trying to explain this particular stuff on a higher level, but you're supposed to be advanced enough until when you get to this level, this is how you have to explain things so it can flow a certain way. So the Typhonian power is also the Bobby power. The Bobby power is also the Leviathan. Leviathan is, 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 is also Tiamat's power. So when you get the book Babylonian Genesis by Alexander Hale, He'll, he'll, he'll show you all the time how she, don't, how she was, she was transformed into a human being, but at the end he'll show you the connection with Tiamat and Leviathan in the Holy Bible. So all that's in the, in, the, in the stuff. And all that is is talking about this same damn power. More than mythical figures, really. It's talking about your soul and your nature. You getting this? Yeah. Even you get you go back and get your King Arthur. Because also King Arthur is called Arthurus, which is a form of Sirius in... Greek myths and also the serious mystery. So your King Arthur, which is also Osiris, which you get the Excalibur and all that. That's why Merlin came on not too long ago and all that kind of thing. Merlin represents the Moor and all, and uh, uh, Tahuti. And also uh, um, Arthur represents Osiris that ends up dying, but Parzival comes and gets the Grail, which represents Horus. Also Hamlet. Hamlet is um, Heru. Do you know in the, in, in some of the the, the Heru drama, when, when 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 Osiris dies, Osiris comes to Horus as a ghost or a spirit and tells him that he has to defeat his uncle. Well, that same story is the Hamlet thing with Mel Gibson and and, and created again recent, re recently with Kenneth Branagh. That's the horror story written by Shakespeare. So you know if a motherfucker like Shakespeare to write that and Othello, which is also a version of the Samson story, and write all that shit and, and tamper with the Bible. Motherfucker was a dangerous person. You see what I'm saying? That's why he, he is the quintessential author of literature for white people. That is their Tahuti. The, the, the Greeks transferred all these ancient myths into European doggone structure of literature. You get it. Now, let's go on. What we're talking about, because this is very important now, we get to the critical section of the actual lecture. And this is, the, is some of the very important stuff that we must deal with at this particular time. So now, let's deal with this. You got a half an hour on this um, Oh, good. Good. Let's deal with this particular part right now. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. Because of what we're going to do. After we deal with this particular part, we want to go into an elaborate question and answer. You see what I'm saying? Uh, elaborate question and answer. But let's get this. This is the most important part. Where it don't take no money, it don't take nobody coming selling you no magnets and no crystals and all that kind of shit. Which you can go by yourself. I mean, it's good energy and all that kind of thing. I'm not trying to belittle that type of stuff. But what we're talking about here, it don't take nothing but you just understanding the information in your head. Everything is in your damn brain. This is all right here. It's the Freddy Krueger shit. Everything is right up here. It's the way we think has everything to do with everything. And every motherfucking thing is everything, too. You see. Now. The, in ancient Kemet, it's called Kavdit, which is the shadow, which is not the melody. Anytime you see the word shadow, also in Jung psychology, you hear that shit shadow. That's Kavdit, a Kavdit, that's ancient Kemet. Uh, in, in Chaldea, it's called Hadit, a Kadit. In, 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 in um, Kadit later on is trans, is also Kadit in uh, Arabia, and later on Hadi, which they lost the real thing of what that was is talking about an energy and they give you a spiritual saying, a spiritual teaching of the Hadith. That's melanin. 
You see what I'm saying? With your whole car bar thing. Car all that bit. All that is melody. Now, Cabinet, which is the H.P. Lovecraft mythos, is a primal creative energy had it or cat it abides in cold weight. This is where very interesting. We're going to get into this right now. I'm going to tell you to access some things. Your last X-File movie, they ended up in the snow. Very key. Mm -hmm. Okay, very key. You're going to get the movie The Saint also, too. And you're going to get another movie called Smillers. S-M-I-L-A. Smillers Sense of Snow. Smillers Sense of Snow. Came out last year. Um, um, came out last year. White Hole played in, uh, in Sabrina and also in Legends of the Fall. What's that? What's that? What's that whole name? Um? <laughs> what's that woman named Smillers Sense of Snow? Um, can't think of her name. Anyway. Anyway, uh, um, Winona Ryder? Uh-uh, I can't think, no, it's not that. Um, anyway, this cold waste, which is named after Caddis, signifies dimensions beyond the grasp of both the walking and dreaming states. Now, Caddis is the true mothership, the home of the gods. I'm going to tell you what this is in a minute. Caddis thing is the abominable plateau of Lang. Your Dalai Lama and all that was supposed to be a part of that, but that... Motherfucker, you see walk around as a fake mm. crowd that they done hooked up <laughs> and shit, you know, walking around here and all. They ain't got no spiritual shit, you know. But see, they, they got a, now they're trying to befriend every little old spiritual man on the planet mm. that they can think mm. can save their ass. So everything mm. now is about save Tibet. Fuck Tibet. <laughs> the shit is coming from here and they're trying to go to that old shit, but the shit is coming from right in their backyard. The motherfucking yeah. nigga from right here, Jericho around yeah. motherfucking. Yeah. Split smart little bull can motherfucking hook. That's what I'm saying. Right here. Goddamn. Old age 800 for room in the goddamn land. Manischewitz. Mm. You talking about? God. That's the shit going to rule. Dark and lovely and poverty. And all that goddamn shit. Fucking niggas. Not Africa. Here. They had to extrapolate from Africa to bring over here to make a new man. They say, ain't all people to say be a new man. They ain't but one new motherfucker on the planet. Uh -oh. Not the Caribbean, because they got a link into Africa. If you go and look at the Caribbean, you can still see a form of that African thing. That's why Garvin was over here. <laughs> now, we're not saying that we, mm. Africa is the snake, but the head is right here. There's a new man. There's only one new person made new on the United in, in the world. Can't be the Native American. They wiped them motherfuckers out. You see. Plus, they wasn't, wasn't, wasn't the original shit. No way. You can make new is make totally new from the beginning to the end. We're the only new people that exist. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this is a new damn creature. To this particular day, it, it might take damn eight universities just to study the damn Negro. The nigga in this particular hemisphere, <laughs> which is the greatest mystery of mankind. We can't figure out shit about us. I know. I'm, 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 I'm baffled. <laughs> baffled. Black people outdo their damn self every day. New heights of ignorance and genius. But mainly, motherfucking nigga got some shit for your ass. I swear to you. Of a new creation when a nigga invents something new every damn day. That is remarkable. Some, it's remarkable. It's remarkable. It's, 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 it's doggone remarkable. You see what I'm saying? Every day. And I'll tell you, that damn, the sisters, they still hold out a foot. That black man is king. Or some new shit. But then again, on the other hand, I have seen some goddamn sisters and been some new shit too. You know. So we are that we are definitely those new people because in the Kabbalah, in the Kabbalah, they talk about this is what they say. They say, listen, we whispering because we don't want them motherfuckers up above to hear this. This is what it's saying in the, the shit that was that smuggled out of Egypt. They say, we don't want the people, the gods up above to hear this because them motherfuckers don't want us to rise. It says that we're going to hide the most ancient of ancients, the most primal ancient of ancients. We're hiding in the brain of the most despised and the rejected on the earth. They say, you will find the most essence of God, they keep saying, of the world to come will be in the brain 
of the most despised and rejected on the earth. Now that can't be nobody, number one, but the black man that's right. hated around the earth. But then again, there ain't but one other motherfucker that all other black motherfuckers hate. Right. That's, that's these niggas right here. <laughs> so much to, not only do everybody in the diaspora hate us, we're the only people that's the most hated in the diaspora that hate each other. <laughs> The ultimate despisers and rejecters of our own damn self. Not only people like us, but our own fucking damn self. Our own body. That's right. That's right. This, we are talking about a new transformation. Getting rid of everything that the, that this world brought about, you can say is being down eliminated through the motherfucker over here. This is the powerful shit I'm talking about here tonight. You see? Now. The abominable plateau of Lane, the plateau of Lane, which is the high altar of the nameless mass evolving the fusion of human and non-human elements into an alchemical called melanin. The only way you can get to Cadiz, which is Cadiz is this crystal city, New Jerusalem, the land of milk and honey, home of the gods, Heaven, whatever you want to say that has been recorded throughout history of what's going through this new existence. The only way you can get to this particular part is only one way, and that's through your dreams. Now, this is through your dreams. Now, the revelation to cry without water. Water, you reap a mass of Illuminati, is a... Uh, the, first of all, let me, I'll go through that in a few minutes. Let me explain this to you, what this is. I'll, I'll break it down to you, and I'll go right to the ancient text, and I'll show it to you in a few minutes. Wait, wait, in the, in before, the you, before you go on, let me ask yeah. you a question. Yeah. When you say the only way to get to this so-called uh -huh. heaven or whatever you're going mm -hmm. to call it is through your dreams, what are you saying? Are you saying that it doesn't exist, or are you saying what? No. It exists. This... What we are, what we are now, don't exist. I'm, I'm, I'm right on your way, man. I'm gonna explain this shit in a few minutes. Did you wait till Bring it home right now. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? Did you wait till I go to the bathroom? Hell, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a, you got a number one or number two. <laughs> now you got a shit. You shit out of luck. <laughs> hey, Bobby, remember what you said to begin? We all had time to wait. Mm -hmm. You know, you got a shit, you shit out of luck. <laughs> you shit with ease and place your elbows upon your knees. <laughs> um, the only brother that hadn't sold out in the entertainment industry is Paul Mooney. Get all his tape, especially get his tape masterpiece. Anybody heard his tape masterpiece? This is one of the, the most awesome pieces out. But Paul Mooney is the only one that's dropping, and he's dropping on all these niggas in the entertainment industry. He's the only real nigga out here. He used to write all your conscious stuff that Richard Pryor was doing. Richard Pryor was doing the other funny shit, but what's all the conscious shit was done by Paul Mooney. Get any tapes you can find on Paul Mooney from Masterpiece. Paul Mooney is white woman. Oh, he is? You bullshit. Now, now, wait a minute, hold on. No, see, I just proved my theory about a nigga reaching new heights. You know what? I swear. I might as well go ahead and take the goddamn pipe and put it in my head tonight. <laughs> now you know we gotta get out of this shit. You lying. No. I told you, man. See, that's the thing about this 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 Negro over here. There is no Ian in the amazement of what that fucking man. Oh Lord have mercy. Jesus, help me, Lord. Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. <laughs> God Almighty, damn! I done heard it all now. Now, mm -mm -mm. okay, uh, okay, let's deal with this thing. So now, let me, let me ask you one more thing. Like you just said, Jesus, yeah. help me, Lord. And you said that's calling on this. I was making a joke in that shit. I was, I was making a mockery of that shit. I understand, but in doing that, did that do anything? At all? Now I was making a joke. That was okay. a joke, man. That doesn't mean anything. No, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you call on shoot. If, if, if anything that didn't work, 
Okay. In America, much as we call on Jesus, and our children ended up getting the worst fate ever fell to mankind in the human history of this modern era. Right, right. You know that goddamn we if we gotta abandon something, we gotta abandon that. Right, right, right. Or either way we look at that. I'm not telling you to get rid of the Jesus. I'm telling you to damn go into the Jesus and study the thing. But you can get rid of that name Jesus because that has nothing to do with the Christ. But I'm talking about the Christology or Christendom. You see what I'm saying? Before it was the religion thing where you bow down and just, just hope nothing don't kill you. Right. Basically. You see what I'm saying? And you saved because some, some nigga from Alabama now put on a black robe and shit. Think this a bitch now. Some nigga from Alabama can't stop the cracker from lynching his black ass, but he can save your fucking soul. Some old motherfucking. Preacher ass nigga, punk ass nigga, now, back, uh, ordained by the cracker who done killed the world. Cracker done went all over there to kill everything. He ordained his mother to save your soul, and God is all right by that. Well, if that God is all right by that, we don't need to be fucking with him. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Some nigga from down, some, some hog mall eating nigga, you know what I'm saying? A, 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 a ton of crown royal on his head. This shit called raw crown on his damn head and shit. You know what I'm saying? Raw crown on his head and all. Man, the most case at him with the turn up toe. He gonna go on. He gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna save you from, from what else? Why you well, you know, some things it's a joke when you think about it. Why you using that Noah? Oh, and I'll shoot well. You see what I'm saying? Hey, Bobby, I just want to say what you were saying about the saint. I just want to say something. In the movie The Saint was a scene where when he was a little kid, he was reading a book. And inside the book, he had a comic book. And mm -hmm. the priest told him you know, he didn't have any background. He didn't have any family. He was a bastard. He said, what's your name? And he, he was looking at the book, but he had a comic book that said Knights nice Temple. So he said, my mm -hmm. name is Templar. Right, see, all that. And that's the more, you know. Just... And the saint, now, that's, that's what all it's about. The saint and all that stuff. <coughs> Look, now, let me go through this type of thing so you can understand something here. Uh, now, this is what we're talking about here. I'll read something to you in an ancient text that came probably it's millions of years old, but was filtered down through the ages. Typhonian Kemet, ancient Kemet, and on into later on the Zanatic Hammond and stuff that they dug up in 1945. And this is what it says here in this particular part. It talks about a new psychic eon, which is the eon that we are in, is a small one, which is talking about a small eon, which is the last eon before we get out of this. It is mixed with bodies by beginning in the souls and defiling them. And it also says that the first defilement of creation is the defilement of creation, found strength, and begot every work. Many works of wrath, anger, envy. Now they talk, then they go into what's really going on down here on the earth. And you can understand this is the last days. Wrath, anger, envy, hatred, slander, contempt, war, lying, evil consoles, sorrow, uh, evil conceals, sorrows, pleasures. Um, baselessness, defilement, falsehood, disease, evil judgments. Talking about all what's going on now. And then the next line is the most profound line, and it says, listen. Now this is what the gods are saying, and this is what, what's saying on the inside of you. And listen to this. It just told you a wrap of all the shit that's going on now. You can see this going on now. At least we don't have to debate this stuff based on what white people are doing. We can say this, this shit show his <laughs> hell on our ass. We are the ones that can bear witness to this because we are the ones that's living this shit. But look what the next line says. Now they just went through all this stuff of what is going on. The next line says, um, oh no, excuse me, base, and they decree according to their desires. But this is what the next line says. <clears throat> but you are sleeping, dreaming dreams. Wake up and return it to and taste and eat the food and hand out the word. The, uh, uh, and the water of life. Now, but it just said, it just said that you are dreaming now. It says what it says. But most people think this is some kind of metaphor to telling you to wake up, your hours lost, and then now I'm found. That kind of shit. No, this, this stuff, it don't even deal. This is an ancient thing. It's an advanced metaphysical. They say, but these people are dreaming dreams. Go get the movie Dark City. That's what's in the movie. As well as the movie Truman. These people are dreaming dreams. Wake up. 
was also in the damn movie Star Trek Generations. Uh, um, Captain Kirk got thrown in this alternative to the part of the universe and it was beautiful trees and flowers and shit. And he was just cutting. He said, and it was some place that he had remembered his boyhood. And when the other man came to get him, he said, this shit ain't real, man. This some shit set up for you to, to make sure that you keep out of action for doing your damn job. You see what I'm saying? So it said, they are dreaming dreams. Now, what this just said to you, and you can base on the bank on this stuff, listen to this. If they're saying that what we are all going through, that we are dreaming dreams, and if this was a dream, which I've said many times, the holograph is not real, then that what you call dreams have to be reality. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? We were cut off from that realm when we sunk into the physical body and we had these two fucking eyes. The false eyes uh, deceive us and we start thinking that the world around us is real. In the Nag Hammadi text, which is the, the Jesus, which before it was Jesus, it was actually Horus or Heru. They asked Heru in the last days before they changed the text in 1977 and put Jesus in there trying to fool somebody. He said, um, and made it a Christian document. It's called the Nag Hammadi to find a Gnostic text out of Egypt. He says, they, they, the father would say, Horus, tell us when the end will be. They said, well, you'll know the end when you know the beginning. Mm -hmm. Then they say, well, what about heaven? When will we get to heaven? He said, heaven is all around you, but you're just too drunk to see it because mm -hmm. you're drunk with the illusion of what you call reality. It's only an illusion. So if this is an, illu an illusion, what the white boy that came up with that solution, the hypothesis of that, in 1970 by studying all that shit for 140 years, if this is an illusion, it's called the illusionary phenomenon called the petty universe, a replica of the primal universe, then that what you call dreams have to be the real universe. You see what I'm saying? Now, let me explain this to you so we can go into some things right here. Cold waste, the cold waste, let me, is that particular universe, first of all, when you go to that dream, that where you go back to the original world in which you came from, but that particular, uni that particular world at that particular time was the realm of sh shadows, but now it has crystallized into a crystal city, the New Jerusalem. You see what I'm saying? Whatever you want to call it. Uh, Ma'at. You see what I'm saying? Which is something more than just laws, reciprocity, and all that stuff that Ma'at and them was saying, you know, quoting some budge book. It's a state of being. It's a new plateau. It's called the Tikkun in the Kabbalah, which means restoration. Well, Ma'at also means reciprocity, rest restoration. Re if you restore some shit, that means that you are going back to something that was before that actually transformed to a lower level. So even reciprocity, even that alone, we was thinking we'd going back to Egypt and walk around with little old tin headdresses and all that kind of shit. That was a midway point. The, 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 the caterpillar don't go into cocoon, cocoon to become a caterpillar. We talk about a new plateau. But all these will be in our memory, so you can even go back to Harlem in 1950 if you want to when we do this shit. Just go in your head and do it. It's just a beautiful world coming down the pipe for our people. Now, dealing with this particular stuff, we've got to understand this. That realm that we go to, and I've said this in many times, we experience it every night. But because the, the realm, because the earth realm does not have the building blocks because we think in the conscious mind and we are only conscious of the things that we have stored up in it since birth. And we think in the conscious mind what happens is because we, the, this earth does not have the building blocks of the material to register what that world is, what happens most of the time is it, com it, 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 has to, it has to compensate for it. So it puts memory in the conscious in it. And that's why sometimes the memory when you wake up, it don't make no, no sense. One minute you might be making love, next minute you, you might be making love on a bicycle, eating some goddamn ice cream or some shit, and turning around on a record player, all kind of fucked up shit. But every day and night then you wake up in your dreams and you remember vivid shit. Right. That's called lucid dreaming. Right. So if you can wake up in that world, that means that world does exist. Now let me explain this to you so you can understand this. Listen. Dreamlands are alternative dimensions, are universes, accessible through a person's dreams. Early in life, a person can enter the dreamlands at will. That's because a child has just come back from that shit, so they can enter the shit. They, enter. they don't know shit up in this thing. Right. For that motherfucker one or two, you can give him this goddamn cup on Christmas morning. He, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what you got that motherfucker toys for? Give him some, 
Give me some plastic shit off of the damn Coca-Cola can. He wouldn't know shit because he hasn't registered this bullshit in this world. Okay? But certain motherfuckers come in their house and they look at it. They be looking at the motherfucker. You be like, damn, that motherfucker looking at me. You know, they might be retarded most of the time. The motherfucker, because they retarded to this bullshit world. They in another dimension, back and forth. They trying to figure out what the fuck done happened. So every now and then somebody might come up in there with some light or something, they just be looking at them. Especially these new ones now, they be looking at them. They be going to take their eyes off. You try to goddamn run in the kitchen, the motherfuckers still be looking You be around there, you see. But they are, they are in the, between the access of that world. So these particular dreamlands are accessible to children. That's why if you notice children, or easily can take this particular stuff that you say, that nigga, that give me fairy tales and fantasy. That's because you have been trained. So it says that it's accessible to them because they just came from there. But the dreamland, they can visit it at will. But as adulthood approaches, this gateway closes for the majority of the dreamers. Only a few adults have been able to, to enter into the dreamland again and again through the use of certain narcotics or simply dedicated dreaming. Some, people, some, some physical portholes between dimensions of the walking world do exist, but the gateways are few and often found in dangerous locales of both realms. Now, what this stuff is actually talking about is this. White people need this new melatonin so that they can go to sleep because white people can't go to sleep now because white people are experiencing these dreams but you got to understand white people were not created on that dimension so therefore that dimension is totally an opposite experience of what they are in and so they see monsters demons dragons and all that because this dimension is nothing but a part of your true self you just probably dream some 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 good shit you know what I'm saying? And then just wake up with some crazy shit because you know, this world ain't registering. But you know, I was dreaming of Je I was dreaming of Venus when I took out my penis and woke up with a handful of goo. Remember that shit? <laughs> Fucking damn George Clinton. She was very spiritual. <laughs> she was Mothership connection. Wiggles the worm. Chucking and a jiving and a digging the skin he's in. Aqua boogie. George Clinton. Right. Own it. Only every last bit of this shit. Own it. Now, listen. I mean, uh, what's about? Yeah, we got about eight minutes here okay. on this tape, and then we can change the tape, right? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's change the tape. Let me just finish this about eight minutes. Let's deal with this thing right now. Okay. So now, even with this particular part right here, these particular dreamlands, they close up to impunity. Cause what happens to impunity? You start taking. Okay, you still ain't doing it with a little child. You can get in the magic shit. But then you go to that goddamn high school and that junior high school. And see, it's getting earlier now. See, that's why now you got to fight for innocence for your child. That's right. Because now they six up here. And the rap thing has really fucked them up. Because mm. now it's feasible to be cool as a culture. And that's done fucked up our people. So now they grown a little over all that and shit like that. <laughs> you see? And so what's happening is this shit is being shut down. But don't worry about it. it, it it's all good. That's just the, the white man understood what to do. He had to take the innocence. His children is all into the little games and shit. Mm. Reading the books and stuff. Lord of the Rings and all that. Never yeah. ending story. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you see. Now, anyway, you start going towards puberty. Oh, I got a certain way I got a dress. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got to get my hair right. You know, and all this kind of thing. So you start identifying with this world and the other world. Oh, that ain't cool no more. And you notice how most of all of all you guys, everything has got to be cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's too corny. Mm. Oh, that's corny. Oh, that ain't cool no more. You understand what I'm saying? Identifying with that, but we all gone through that in our stage, whatever. We in the 50s or whatever. 40s, 30s, whatever. We're going through that aspect where you start identifying, and so what happens is those worlds start shutting down. Those worlds start shutting down. Even they even tell you, even, well, you know, mom gets a certain age, they ain't gonna change, you can't, you know. That's it for them. You see what I'm saying? They take Jesus to the grave. You see what I'm saying? That's it. So now, um, how much time we got left on that? Um, um, 
Six. Six minutes? Okay, yeah, let me finish this then. A journey to the dreamlands is typically began, typically, a journey, let me slow down, a journey to the dreamlands typically begins when a dreamer is descending down the 70 steps of slumber. That's still that 72 demons of did what I talked about. In the caverns of flames, he may meet a high priest, which is his higher self, Kamenthal, which is Kamen, which is melanin, it's the same thing. If the priest finds the dreamer worthy, which means that if you are able to understand this based on you, you got enough knowledge now because, you know, you ain't holding back and thinking everything is everything initiate here. <laughs> you can continue down the 700 steps of slumber into the enchanted wood, and after avoiding the dangers of the wood, the, the dangers, you are free to roam dreamland. You see what I'm saying? The dreamland is the walking world, which is us, uh, are the dreamlanders' greatest heroes. That talk about us. So we're talking about this new Jerusalem that we're actually talking about. Um, that we're actually talking about. And one can set up residence in this particular dream, man. This is real deal shit. That's why the motherfucker makes sure that you don't get no rest. See what I'm saying? This is a dehydration culture which you don't get no much water and you don't get no sleep. And one and two goes with the other. You see, dreams and waves, you ever heard the waves and the dreams? It's all the same thing. Water is the shit. So we're going to get into that in a few minutes once you get the tape yet going so we can go into the what you call it. Um, you want to wanna end that one or what? Okay, I'll do that. Um, what I want to ask you. Uh, should I put a two hour tape or is it a two and a half hour tape? A two hour be good enough. Okay, thank you. <laughs> two hour be good enough. Because I'm getting ready to go into this song. Okay. <laughs> we're going to end this and then we're going to go into a good one. Now, wait a minute, let me get this here going. Um, um, let's see. Go for it. Uh, okay, excuse me, please. I'd like to uh, uh, emphasize the importance of this evening because of the fact that um, at 2272 Adam Clayton Powell Boulevard, in which we are we are in the heart of Harlem, right down the street from the YMCA, uh, this year hall uh, edifice came into being through Irvin Manigault who is the uh, chief administrator of the African Nationalist Pioneer Movement uh, two years ago. But uh, the African Nationalist Pioneer Movement consists of at least, um, oh, oh, at least a couple of hundred cadre, basically. You see what I mean? Coming from uh, uh, the Honorable Carlos uh, A. Cooks, who was a spiritual um, son of the Honorable Marcus Garvey. Um, there's a book by um, Robert Harris, uh, who um, was uh, Carlos Cook's secretary. Robert Harris uh, was a very good friend of mine uh, for at least a couple of years back in 1979, uh, up to about 81. We helped um, start the Cape District Farms down in South Jersey, in which my family owns uh, about nine acres and we own about another 15 acres. We own about 15 acres, basically, all together, in which to house our people uh, when they become of age and understand the, 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 uh, the understanding of who we are and why we are and what we're going to do as Africans from America. Not as Africans that are in here, here in America, but Africans from America. This our unique, unique uh, point. So basically, um, it's, it's an attempt uh, this edifice to to um, make certain that Marcus Garvey Liberty Hall, which housed about uh, uh, eight or nine to ten thousand people, uh, exists, continue to exist, uh, uh, and in the name of Marcus Garvey and Carlos Cos will not be gone, uh, forgotten. So therefore, this is the the um, the Carlos um, Marcus Garvey Carlos Cooks, uh Memorial Hall. Everybody's invited to come here on Sundays. Uh, there's meetings uh, at uh, uh, at seven o'clock uh, on, and the Honorable uh, Morris Powell, who is the president of the uh, 125th Street Vendors Association, that 1,200-man uh, 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 independent merchants organization that, that just got wiped away from 125th Street, all thousand of us, uh, by the uh, the mayor, of course, uh, Juliani. 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 All the other names. But we, we, we thank you for coming here and uh, to keep the legacy of 
of Marcus Garvey and, and all, also uh, of us. You know, alive, you know, you're welcome to come here anytime um, and uh, um, expouse and, and, to, and to meet and to because our home is your home, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. My, my family basically comes, um, my foster mother and, and uh, uh, my grandfather, my grandmother um, on my mother's side, my grandmother uh, on my father's, father's side bought tickets. Uh, on Margaret Garvey's uh, uh, bloodline to, to go to Liberia. So, uh, of course, I, I would have been one of those Americans in Liberia uh, uh, through my, my blood family line. So I got it spiritually, you know, the connection. And the connection is here, too, uh, to Bobby Hemet. So we thank you for coming, and please stay here as long as you possibly can. And it, I, we don't want to take this food back to Brooklyn. You know what I mean? So y'all welcome, you know, whatever donation you want to give, etc. you know, to, to uh, you know, they, they ain't, ain't that much y'all. Hey, y'all really ain't, but ain't that much, you know, so come on in. Come on in. Yeah. Thank, thank All you. Right. All right. Okay. Thank you. 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 And so, therefore, um, this was a very special night, how we was in one place and we was thrown into this alternative universe that is actually the right universe to be in at this particular time. After being beat down in the other universe, it wasn't going so well. So, could you just hold it one second? So, so um, just one second. Oh, damn, I'm on a roll. <laughs> just yeah, one second. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. It wasn't going so well, so... Basically, that ought to let you know how the, 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 how the spirit provides, because this stuff had to get out at this crucial moment. I, you know, at this crucial moment, and I and I come too many times at the damn density, and them goddamn niggas throw me out. So I'm not going back there no more. So I can damn, <laughs> oh, I don't have to worry about that. Excuse me, but, uh, Carlos Cooks always said that uh, he didn't have any kind of uh, of, of religion. You know, uh -huh. to deal. That's where that's where differentiation from Marcus Garvey. Then what? And he had a saying: Jesus Christ. Stink on ice. Mm. Mm. And this is interesting because I always remember now the spiritual part is Marcus Garvey said on his deathbed, I shall return. People don't know that. So this scared the hell out the white boy. In the whirlwind. You see what I'm saying? When he said, I shall return, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that, that's very interesting. Now going back to this particular part here, um, going back to this particular going back to this particular part here, the dreams are in a way. Is, is the way that the great old ones is, is, is the way that the great old ones will return. Now, let me explain some of this to you. Um, uh, the movie Saint. Now, Cadet in the H.P. Lovecraft mythology is called a cold waste. First of all, I talked about that waste, and I talked about that waste which was supposed to be the excrement from the primal worlds. But what, what do they mean by the cold waste? There's two kind of energies. There's the energy that is given to us by the, the sun out there that lights up this particular illusionary world. That's that solar heat. But there's another sun, which is the black sun, that gives what is called a new kind of heat called cold fusion. Now, everybody always, they're talking all this stuff about cold fusion, but that ultimate theory of cold fusion that they, 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 they found out was a theory in 19... Uh, 89 at Georgia Tech on some smaller levels, but the ultimate thing of this cold fusion that they're talking about, which is supposed to be the new energy for the new millennium, they are working around the clock trying to manifest this, but they can't because that cold fusion is done from melanin. The sun behind the sun, or what you call the black sun, the hidden sun. So just like the manifested sun gives off a heat, but if that manifested sun can give off a doggone heat, and it is a doggone replica or imitation sun, what you think that the real sun from the primal world can give off? You get it? And that's what's in the core of every melanin. And at the root base chakra of the, of, of the kundalini, going up to make that particular cold heat that they're talking about, which is the actual cold fusion. So when you go see the movie Saint, the whole movie was about Saint was this particular person that was supposed to go undercover and, and fall in love with this girl, a con man, so he can get these secrets. Because this girl had broken the mystery of cold fusion and she was supposed to give it to some government. So there's all fighting over this shit. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Now you get the movie Smell of Sense of Snow, it, it's dealing with some Eskimo people, as well as this woman on this little boy dying, this little Eskimo boy or whatever type boy dying. She found out there's this elaborate thing in the Antarctic to try to deal with this cold fusion. Now this also unlocks the mystery of Santa Claus which you thought was some bullshit because the Afrocentric movement came in and you start talking about all this shit here about the Santa Claus, first of all, listen, these holidays was, was set up by the damn Moors. Just like the damn, the, the Moors was telling you, as far as the new Moors uh, organization would tell you, a lot of this America shit was actually a divine plan by the Moors. It's all in your America's Secret Destiny book. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, this whole Christmas thing that you talk about with Santa Claus is an advanced symbol of the Christ. Now let's check Santa Claus out. Your body represents a pole. The North Pole sits at the pineal gland, the north part of your body. So the North Pole, Santa Claus lives at the North Pole. Okay? Santa Claus wears the color black, red, and white. If you understand Yoruba, one of uh, Legbar's colors is black and red. Black and red, black represents the black dot, red represents the root chakra. That's the mother, which is the, the, the red is called Babylon the beast. And the black dot represents the black part, which is her son, the black dot. He wears black, black belt, black boots, red outfit, and he also wears white. The white also represents the light from the black, the black and white, which is the crystallized white. That's why you see the ball on the top of his head. He wears a, a beard. The beard hangs down his, his, his stomach. But if you understand the beard, the chakra systems hang down the stomach also too. And but the chakras are different colors, but also those different colors, colors are all of nothing coming from prisms, which is also white light. So the chakra systems run that hang down the the the, 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 uh, the beard. It hangs down that that's the chakra system. He drives a sled manned by reindeers. The same reindeers is the same thing you see in all ancient things where you got the horns on the head, half uh, pan, all that, which represents some kind of ship manned by natural energy, other than man-made fuel. Okay? He comes down the chimney. The chimney is nothing but the same sliding down the cerebral cortex and the whole spinal column, which also, in the chimney is what? Soot. Black carbon smoke. And he comes, this gift-bearing Christ comes through the black tube. Okay, comes down the chimney. What he does? He gives gifts. But he gives gifts to who? He gives gifts to children because children are humble and they are not illusionized by this fucking world. That's why the, the, you get snossing if you're an adult because you've been hoodwinked to think that this bullshit. The kid gets it because he's good and it's supposed to be the innocent. That's why they give it to It just means the, the innocence. He's fat. And this represents humility even in the master, the jolly. You thought all this was some bullshit. So it's all metaphysical. You see what I'm saying? It's all metaphysical. Go back and look, look at the movie Santa Claus. You motherfucker crap ain't producing no goddamn movies and shit for no bullshit. Niggas do that. <laughs> Go get the movie Santa Claus where he... The movie, the, the, the suit jumps on his ass because he was supposed to be the one in the future to get the suit. He go to the North Pole and what he said, he said, who's in charge of this place? They said, you in charge, goddammit. He who wears the suit is Santa Claus. That suit represents the black skin and who who wears that is God. You see what I'm saying? He start turning fat. He start getting the magic. You gotta study this shit. That's what it's talking about. Now going back to this cat at cold waste. This dream world that they're talking about, is this white ship or the mothership, is this particular bomb of the future and this crystal, crystalline energy that is supposed to come and retake the earth. That's why the whole extraterrestrial thing at the end of the movie X-File, they ended up in the snow. You see what I'm saying? They ended up in the Antarctica. That's just talking about the, 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 the wheel, the great wheel that they're talking about, which is this black disc or this so-called ship that's inside of your head is at the North Pole. That's what this whole thing in which we're talking about. Your spiritual energy bringing back the extraterrestrials that you are, but not no little bug-eyed man, something that can take any shape that it wants to because it's a divine spiritual essence. You're getting this? You know, uh, the divine spiritual essence. So now, the problem is that, that, that the America makes sure that you don't sleep. Now this is the key on the sleep thing. The sleep thing is this. 
America trains you to take away the prize by thinking you're winning the prize. You little boy, mama tell your ass it's 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, get your ass in the bed. Well, it used to be that way. Now, motherfucker, stay up 3, 4, 5. Motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> 2 years old, he be up, you be up at 4 o'clock, motherfucker, be up too. It's different now with these new children and shit. But you know, back in the 70s on beyond, your ass could be the bed in the daylight saving time, summertime, you might put your, go take your ass to bed any goddamn way. <laughs> you go to bed, be fucking 8 or 9 o'clock, be mad as shit. But you be like, damn, I can't wait till I grow up so I can stay up as long as I want. So you, with age comes the prize of growing up and staying up. So being now you be like, I got a four being I said, nah, fuck it, I ain't going to bed past the <laughs> I'm grown and I stay up as late as I fucking want to. You see what I'm saying and all. You know, the sister might cut down on that shit, so motherfucker, you stay up too late. I'm going to bed. If you want some of this motherfucker, you better come on now. <laughs> so she might get you, she might set set it back up for that type of thing, so you might do the, you know, whatever, so you might be baited back up in that shit, because you know the motherfucker go to sleep. You how that like you ain't gonna get none. But anyway. You say, damn, I can't wait till the weekend. I gotta go to work, but I gotta because I wanna stay up all damn night. So the key is the ancient man, now as he had a spiritual thing, although they were nocturnal people, the ancient man said that the ancient man said that um the, uh, the ancient man when it got dark it went to bed. So what has happened here is this. Over the course of puberty, you started staying up more. So it's almost like this particular part. Now don't be alarmed. But it's like this particular part where as you you know how you you, you, you get ready to graduate high school, but you missed a couple of days. You miss about 30, 40 days and you got all that makeup work. Well, it's the same way with the dream shit. The more and more you stay up, the more and more dream time that you have to make up over the life and stuff because the culture makes you stay up. So the ancient man used to be close to the dream gate doorway because he had enough sleep time in, whereas you were right here and the doorway is right here. But it is the quickening period now. So the dream shit is coming close anyway. The key is, is sleep is essential. But the key is, on the other hand, is, is this. Because the ancient man used to go to bed at 8 o'clock or something when it get late. Now that's out of the goddamn question for <laughs> modern black people. You know what I'm saying? And she, you gonna at least give me 11 o'clock. But the key is, the key is, is basically, only thing that wakes you up is you might open your eyes several times out the night. What wakes you up is the fucking sun shining in the damn window in the daytime. So the key is, is to put something black up. Now... White people, because this particular dimension is an alternative to them, they see monsters. So they see our true selves on the other, other side. That's who we are. We are the monsters. This whole, this whole damn science called monsterology. The crap got some shit for your ass of our science. But that's how bad our system was. So they see monsters and demons. It's an angel of light to you. But if you sometimes, if, if, if you, you, you stuck in fundamentalism, you might see the devil too. And the whole time yourself saying, hey, it's me, damn it, damn it. I got to walk around with this idiot all day. He don't know that I'm him. So, that's what your, your soul is saying, you know. I, I, I got such an asshole for a motherfucking host. You know, that's why he whips your ass. All right, now, fuck it. The nigga wants some money. I'm going to make sure the nigga get fired. Maybe I'm kicking him in the ass. Maybe he might turn around and stuff. So some of us are here based on some hard times that happen and shit. Some people have to get beat into this damn sense. But anyway, white people see us. But they see us as we really are. And they can't take it because they are opposite from us. So therefore, they had to take the melatonin to just sleep through the night. It's, it's funny how it is. They couldn't take the sleeping shit because that'll put them closer still to it. They had to take something that was closer to that so they could sleep normal. Whereas us, the melatonin makes us go to sleep and we don't experience it. That's why you got to get valerian root. Valerian root, that's the shit. Um, you know, that, that's the stuff. And don't be ashamed, afraid. It's just an urge so you can take more than the two or three pills and shit because, you know, that'll get you under, but you want to get deep, deep, deep into it. No, you get the raw stuff. But the raw stuff, yeah. But whatever the deal is, valerian root and the dark. The one with the mint. And, okay, y'all know the deal. And the one with the dark, you put something dark on the window, plus 
you drink a lot of water because the waves, the energy flows through the water. Like I told you, the water so sort of dilutes the melanin in you and it goes through the bloodstream. And as a result, you get quickened by this particular water. So you drink the water, plus you take a pan of water and put up under your bed. Yeah. And that's, this is what you do to catch this particular dream. Now the key is, is to wake up in the dream. So how I came about this was this. These particular entities here that don't want us to rise up, and it's interesting one. See, the key is meditation helps keep the world afloat. That's what meditation for. The ancient people to go in, go into the subconscious, meditate, and bring something out that they can use in the physical world. Mm -hmm. But now what we're talking about, dreaming is something opposite from meditation. Meditation is a, is a tool, but that don't raise you to Godhood. What raises you to Godhood is the dream land and you just fucking waking up. The key is, is to wake up in your dream. That's called lucid dreaming. So how I was tapped into this is these particular entities. These particular entities um, didn't want me to cross over one night. The ones that, the old motherfuckers that's on their way out for trying to prolong this shit, which is now old, which was our children, our little old naughty head children. But anyway, they didn't want me to, to, to cross over. Now it's interesting because this girl was meditating and she started talking shit to him and they started cussing. Yeah, that's why we don't want your asses up here any damn way. We don't like y'all mother. So obviously there's somebody trying to stop our progress because our rise mean their fall. So what they did was one, one night I was dreaming, May 1st of this year, and this is how I tapped into this reality. And I said, I got your ass when I woke up. I said, okay, I didn't go through, but y'all must telling you no magnets and no crystals and all that kind of shit. But you can go by yourself. I mean, it's good energy and all that kind of thing. I'm not trying to belittle that type of stuff. But what we're talking about here, it don't take nothing, but you just understanding the information in your head. Everything is in your damn brain. This is all. Right here, it's the Freddy Krueger shit. <laughs> everything is right up here. It's the way we think has everything to do with everything. And every motherfucking thing is everything, too. You see? Now, the, in ancient Kemet, it's called Kabdit, which is the shadow, which is not the melody. Anytime you see the word shadow, also in Jung psychology, you hear that shadow. That's Kabdit, a Kabdit, that's ancient Kemet. Uh, in, in Chaldea, it's called Hadit or Kadit. In, 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 in um, Kadit later on is, trans, is also Kadith in uh, Arabia, and later on Hadith, which they lost the real thing of what that was. It's talking about an energy, and they give you a spiritual saying, a spiritual teaching of the Hadith. That's melanin. You see what I'm saying? With your whole Kaaba thing. Kaaba bit. All that is melanin. Now, Kabdit, which is the H.P. Lovecraft mythos, is a primal creative energy had it, or cat it, abides in cold waste. This is very interesting. We're going to get into this right now. I'm going to tell you to access some things. Your last X-File movie, they ended up in the snow. Very key. Okay, very key. You're going to get the movie The Saint also, too. And you're going to get another movie called Smillers, S-M-I-L-A, Smillers Sense of Snow. Smiller's Sense of Snow came out last year. Um, um, came out last year. White Hole played in, in, in Sabrina and also in Legends of the Fall. What's that? What's that? What's that whole name? Um? <laughs> what's that woman named Smiller's Sense of Snow? Um, class in these particular myths. In the Giants Revolt, and also you can read in Robert Graves' book. Robert Graves got Greek myths, Hebrew myths, which show a lot of his mythology being. Hebrew was before it became a religion. He also has King Jesus showing that kind of stuff. They took some of this particular stuff and made it into religions. But in his giants revolt in Greek myths on page um, 261, he goes into Titan, Typhon, which is the Titans, Titans, Typhon in the beginning, the great mother, Titans that's defeated, and then Titan comes back, um, Typhon um, um, again comes back as the youngest son of Gaia. So we're talking about a futuristic son in the, in, the, in, the, in the future, but it's also talking about this futuristic son. Um, um, Tight Typhon is talking about the great mother. You're talking about a form of melanin, that cosmic pre-primal world. You're getting this stuff? So she, he comes back midway point and, and frightens these particular motherfuckers in heaven so bad until they run, and run, run to Egypt and hide out and become animals. Hide. But then anyway, they, they subdue him with a lightning bolt, and he's trapped under Mount Edna, the deepest part of the earth, and the earthquakes is supposed to be this particular energy. All this is also just also mythology trying to explain this particular stuff on a higher level, but 
you're supposed to be advanced enough until when you get to this level, this is how you have to explain things so it can flow a certain way. So the Typhonian power is also the Bobby power. The Bobby power is also the Leviathan. Leviathan is, 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 is also Tiamat's power. So when you get the book Babylonian Genesis by Alexander Hadel, He'll, he'll, he'll show you all the time how she, don't, how she was, she was transformed into a human being, but at the end he'll show you the connection with Tiamat and Leviathan in the Holy Bible. So all that's in the, in, in the stuff. And all that is is talking about this same damn power. More than mythical figures, really. It's talking about your soul and your nature. You getting this? Yeah. Can't think of a name. Anyway. Anyway, uh... Um, well, no, right? Uh-uh, I can't think. No, it's not that. Um, anyway... This cold waste, which is named after Caddis, signifies dimensions beyond the grasp of both the walking and dreaming states. Now, Caddis is the true mothership, the home of the gods. I'm going to tell you what this is in a minute. Caddis Lang is the abominable plateau of Lang. Your Dalai Lama and all of them are supposed to be a part of that, but that motherfucker you see walking around is a fake. Crap of it, they done hooked up and shit, you know, walking around here and all. They ain't got no spiritual shit. You know, but see, they, they got, now they're trying to befriend every little old spiritual man on the planet that they can think can save their ass. So everything now is about saved Tibet. Fuck Tibet. <laughs> the shit is coming from here and they're trying to go to that old shit, but the shit is coming from right in their backyard. The motherfucking nigga from right here. Jericho around motherfucking Swiss Mark Nickel Bull King motherfucking nigga. That's what the shit is coming from right here. Goddamn old age 800 for room in the goddamn land. What are you talking about? God. That's the shit going to rule dark and love and all that goddamn shit. Fucking niggas, not Africa. Here. They had to extrapolate from Africa to bring over here to make a new man. They say, ain't all people that say be a new man. They ain't but one new motherfucker on the planet. Uh -oh. Not the Caribbean because they got a lake into Africa. If you go and look at the Caribbean, you can still see a farm of that African thing. That's why Garvey was over here. <laughs> now we're not saying we, mm. Africa is the snake but the head is right here. There's a new man. There's only one new person made new on the United in, in the world. Can't be the Native American. They wiped them motherfuckers out. You see. Plus they wasn't, wasn't, wasn't the original shit. No way. You can make new is make totally new from the beginning to the end. We're the only new people that exist. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this a new damn creature. To this particular day, it, it might take damn eight universities just to study the damn Negro. The nigga in this particular hemisphere. <laughs> which is the greatest mystery of mankind. We can't figure out shit about us. I know. I'm, 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 I'm baffled. I'm <laughs> baffled. <laughs> You got some shit for your ass. I swear to you. You know that we're talking about the presence of a new creation when a nigga invents something new every damn day. It's remarkable. It's remarkable. It's, 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 it's doggone remarkable. You see what I'm saying? Every day. And I'll tell you that now, the sisters, they still hold out a foot. That black man is king. Us some new shit. But then again, on the other hand, I've seen some goddamn sisters and been some new shit too. You know. So we are that we are definitely those new people because in the Kabbalah, in the Kabbalah, they talk about this is what they say. They say, listen, we whispering because we don't want them motherfuckers up above to hit us. This is what it's saying in the, the shit that was that smuggled out of Egypt. They say, we don't want the people, the gods up above the hideous because them motherfuckers don't want us to rise. Mm -hmm. It says that we're going to hide the most ancient of ancients, the most prime. Even you get, you go back and get your King Arthur. Because also King Arthur is called Arthurus, which is a form of Sirius in Greek myths and also the Sirius mystery. So your King Arthur, which is also Osiris, which you get the Excalibur and all that. That's why Merlin came on not too long ago and all that kind of thing. Merlin represents the Moor and all, and uh, uh, Tahuti. 
and also uh, um, Arthur represents Osiris that ends up dying, but Parzival comes and gets the grail, which represents Horus. Also Hamlet. Hamlet is um, Heru. Do you know in the, in, in some of the, the, the Heru, Heru drama, when, 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 when Osiris dies, Osiris comes to Horus as a ghost or a spirit and tells him that he has to defeat his uncle? Well, that same story is the Hamlet thing with Mel Gibson and, and, and created again re re recently with Kenneth Branagh. That's the horror story written by Shakespeare. So you know if a motherfucker like Shakespeare to write that and Othello, which is also a version of the Samson story, and write all that shit and, and tamper with the Bible, motherfucker was a dangerous person. You see what I'm saying? That's why he, he is the quintessential author of literature for white people. That is there to hoot it. The, the, the Greeks transferred all these ancient myths into European doggone structure of literature. You get it. Now, let's go on. What we're talking about, because this is very important now, we get to the critical section of the actual lecture. And this is, the, is some of the very important stuff that we must deal with at this particular time. So now, let's deal with this. Yeah, half an hour on this um, Oh, good, thing. good. Let's deal with this particular part right now. And I'll tell you what we're going to do, because of what we're going to do. After we deal with this particular part, we want to go into an elaborate question and answer. You see what I'm saying? Uh, elaborate question and answer. But let's get this. This is the most important part where it don't take no money, it don't take nobody to come and sit.